Hey, hi, how are you? It's Stacey, and I was going to do a video today and like get my camera out and film a video specifically for you know my YouTube channel. Um, but I can't find the new memory card that I got, it's not a surprise. Can't really find anything in my house, it's a mess all the time. I'm trying, okay, but um. I haven't been very good at reading lately, um, as I've said probably before. Um, this is currently the only thing I've read in the last month and a half or so, other than like percentage of Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, which I'm kind of just stuck on. So I would like to tell you about this graphic novel. It's called Heathen. This is volume one. It is written by Natasha Alterisi and uh, illustrated by Rachel Deering, I believe. Actually, it says, writing and art by Natasha Alterisi and Rachel Deering is the letters. Series covers by Tess Fowler and Tamara Bonvillian. I said that wrong. But this is about a Viking warrior woman who was basically, the story is that She's an outcast because she was caught kissing her friend and um, that's not allowed. So her father was tasked with either uh, execu executing her or um, marrying her off to somebody. And she he chose to like execute her, which really meant like huntsman of the Snow White tail kind of story where he pretends to do it. So then she goes to fulfill a quest to save Brynhilda, who is a um, immortal Valkyrie who is like outcasted on this mountain and surrounded by fire and only a brave, courageous hero who can make it through the fire to rescue her. Well, she actually had been rescued before and so there's also a lover of Brynhilda in this story. There's a special horse here in this story and basically she's out to get Odin because Odin is the oppressor in this story who made it so that she couldn't be who she wanted to be. The art is really good. It has obviously queer rep in it. Um, I like Vikings type stories. Um, I don't know what else to really say about it. It's kind of empowering. <laughs> Some of the art is really wonderful. Um, it's kind of dark. This is volume one. I got it off of Amazon on the like used section. So it was only like $4. Um, originally this is like $16 graphic novel. Um, I, other than supporting the artist and the writer, that seems like a lot, um, but I think I'm going to pick up the second volume and see how it goes. A lot of it is like the same color scheme, like it's a lot of the same, but I liked it. So I think I'm going to pick up the next one. I think if I was going to give it like a rating out of five, I think it would probably get like a three and a half. Um, I don't really have any problems with it though. So um, that's what I read. So hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any recommendations for graphic novels that I might like, please leave them in the comment, se comment section below and I will think about picking them up. Um, I have a few other ones that I have that I got at Barnes & Noble recently that I have to um, read still. So I think I'm going to pick those up and read them soon. Um, hope you guys all have a wonderful, magical rest of the week, and uh, you stay wonderful. Bye.